Doombird 4 versus the Splice, also known as the Slice if you saw Eagle throw this at the Austin Open. Shout out to Anthony, by the way, for sending me this. I cannot turn down a blue disc or a Discmania disc. Video is sponsored by you. Right, so let's compare these, see which one goes farther, which one's more stable, what can split somebody's head open faster. Okay. Now for the Slice. Oh. Definitely wink that a little bit more to the right. I'm gonna have to put this on a nasty Anheuser. That's not bad. Oh my gosh! That almost skipped in. Follow that up with this dude. Okay, well, nice little 15 footer to start the day. These are two totally different animals, by the way. Like the Doombird 4 actually looks and feels like a disc that you've held in your hand before, whereas the Splice is flat as a plate and very sharp in the hand. Now for the forehand test, 300 feet uphill. Dig. Oh, it dug. Follow that up with the dinner plate. Yeah, you can just, I mean, boy, does that thing want to get to the ground quick. It's not a bad little grouping. Ooh, I almost missed that. Time for the official long distance competition. The slice goes first. The pin is 380 feet, but we're, we're not getting there. What if that goes right in the drain? Please don't go right in the drain. It went right in the drain. Tell me what you got, Doombird 4. Oh, that one's going right in the drain. Oh. In case any of you guys didn't know, I got a nine hole video with that Doombird 4. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm choosing somebody to have that Doombird 4 out of the comment section. So get your boy to 5K. All right, it's official. The Doombird 4 goes about 20 feet farther. It's actually circle two. I'm gonna jump put it. Money. That's OB. Why is it gotta be so close to the basket? You just had to go out of bounds, huh? It's about a meter. Hole five, 270 feet. I'm gonna throw this upside down. See, uh, see how that works. Oh, what the? It's worth the shot. I think this actually flies better upside down. A little better. All right, well, if you love throwing a disc upside down, we've got your winner. Redemption at circle two. There's no way I go OB this time. Oh, I'm making it now. Can't scare me. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, bring it on hole 16. Let's see what you got. 310 feet onto the island, right to left tail. So by my calculations, wind, it's gonna slam it down. Definitely can't lose this because I'm supposed to be giving this away to somebody. Just drop, just like I said, yeet. Inside circle one. All right, now for the splice, just treat the basket like a cameraman and we should be good. Oh, get across, get across, get across, get across, get it. We can get it. He's alive. Should I do this? Probably not, but I wanna try to skip this over the water. And two, I'm mic'd up and it's got like 600 feet. So I'm just gonna see if you guys can hear me up there. You know, it'd really suck if one, you guys can't hear me. And two, I bury this in the water. By the way, Anthony, if I do lose this, I'm really sorry, but I just, I just got to. <laughs> skip, please, please. Yo, if it floats every time, I'm just gonna keep trying this. Uh-oh, it's not floating. Oh no. It was, oh, I see it, I see it. Well, good news and bad news. One, I can see it. Two, I think it's too far. All right, I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it is dead center of the screen. The problem is this pole doesn't reach. Oh my gosh, and the water's freaking cold, dude. Oh, and we got a card coming, and I can no longer see the disc. That's just great. Ah, oh, this is great. How are we gonna do this? I think I... Okay, you either got it or buried it. No. <laughs> it's, no it's too cloudy now, you guys. Thank you, Anthony, for sponsoring this video. And now for the fun part. For me, at least. Hello. It's time 
for a Q&A. So first question up, we have Camden Burgess, best course on the Pro Tour. It's gotta be either Maple Hill or maybe Beaver State Fling, if that's the one that I'm thinking of. Got the world at my fingertips, let me double check. Yeah, it's def definitely Beaver State Fling. Just huge courses with just endless views. I mean, what, what's there to not like, you know? The wind is blowing. Bro, if my tripod falls. Beefs22, what was the biggest thing to improving your game? I play all the time, every day. Like without a doubt, sick, mad, sad, cold, I, rainy, I play every day. I also putt every day. And doing those two things, I mean, you know, what's the rule? Like 10,000 hours and you become like a god or something. Nolan Campbell, what's your dream course to go play? I wanna go play that course, you know, the European Open, like the main, the main course. I wanna go play in Europe so bad. Like when I save up all my YouTube money, I'm going straight to Europe. The SC Reviews, thoughts on using small courses like Hickory Hollow to hone in your skills. It's a great idea. I do that all the time. Like if I need to work on standstills, I'll go out to Hickory Hollow and just standstill throw everything off the tee, backhand, forehand. Even if I wanted to, like instead of doing garage putts and I wanna change it up, I'll go to a small course cause you're pretty much inside the circle one all the time. So it's just, you're outside and you're playing still, but I'm working on those C1s. Small courses are very beneficial. Zach Mead, what do you do for a living? I do a bunch of machining, make like door latches and interior parts for like old school Chevy and Ford trucks. My dad's business, so uh, my hours are flexible, but I still have to get 40 hours a week, so. Boring. Gregory Katz. This man's got two questions. When are you coming to Denver to collab with Bedanza and me? Why does everybody want me to, why is everybody trying to 1v1 me, huh? I don't get it. Question number two, what are your favorite YouTube channels both in disc golf and non-disc golf content? Okay, honestly, I, don't, I have like no time to watch any YouTube videos. Uh, if I do, there's literally like three things I watch and it's uh, cooking. I watch Sam the Cooking Guy. Uh, Bedanza, I don't watch all of his videos, but like as far as disc golf content, I'll watch him and Simon, they're about even. And then Casey Neistat, that's like, he's a blogger. I've watched him for a long time. If you haven't seen any of his vlogs, you should go watch it. Great, 100%. He's the one who made me want to start making vlogs. OBH136739, what's the most underrated shot to have in the bag? Forehand roller. I needed to show you guys, I'm nasty at some forehand rollers. They're a great get out of jail free card. Everybody wants to do backhands, but it's so hard to like, do your line and figure out where to throw and the ante and all that stuff, or you just look at your target, throw a forehand roller. It's so slept on, dude, I'm telling you. I don't see a lot of people throwing it, and if I ever get into the Pro Tour, I'm about to show off my forehand roller skills. That is it, I didn't get a lot of questions, but ask me questions on Twitter, link down below. All right, now I have to get off of here. Hey. Hey.